57 years, and it is the, they call it the Bible of Texas high school football. Texas football, because it includes colleges too. But Robel is here, and he's going to give the spill for uh, Rashad and his trophy. What they're doing here is they're going to they're, they're going to honor Fremont High School with Rashad's trophy so that it can always be in the trophy case. And whenever anybody comes to see uh, Fremont High School, see what we're about, here's Rashad's trophy that's in the trophy case. And yes, he, he did this one time, and he's from Fremont, Texas. So I'll turn it over to Robel. Thank you, Coach. I'm going to have Rashad hold this because it's heavy. Appreciate that. Appreciate it. Good evening, everyone. My name is Robel Melissa with Dave Campbell's Texas Football. I'm joined here tonight with my coworker Kendall Lyons and Lauren, Bo Lauren Boone with the Texas Bowl. We're so happy to be here as we present Fremont High School with a very, very special award. This past season, Rashad Paul cemented his legacy in Texas high school football history by being named our 2016 Mr. Texas Football. The Mr. Texas Football Award presented by Wells Fargo annually recognizes the high school player of the year in the state of Texas. Past winners of the award include Jonathan Gray, Johnny Manziel, Jaquiz Rogers, Garrett Gilbert, Jet Duffy, and Kyler Murray. Rashad Paul finished his high school career with a record of 47-0 and helped lead Bremont to three state titles. Let's give him a round of applause. Texas Bowl at NRG Stadium. He got the VIP treatment and everything. But tonight it's our honor to present Bremont High School with the Mr. Texas Football Legacy Award to ensure that Rashad's accomplishment lives on in Tiger history forever. Woo! Accepting the award on behalf of the school is Rashad and the captains Josh White, J.R. Rocha, Tanner Redis, and Eric Wilkenowski. Wil and the Texas Bowl staff. We wish you nothing but continued success at Texas A&M and congratulations again on being the 2016 Mr. Texas Bowl. Robel Melissa with Dave Campbell's Texas Football and TexasFootball.com. I'm joined with the 2016 Mr. Texas Football winner, Rashad Paul. Rashad, when you found out that you were named Mr. Texas Football, what was your first reaction? Um, considering there's been a lot of big names, I was actually, I was really, really excited. I was hoping I was going to get it. And I mean, there's, there's been some big names who received this award. So, I mean, it's, it was just awesome feeling. It's an awesome honor. You actually received your award at the Texas Bowl this past year in front of your hometown Aggies. Uh, what did that mean for you to receive that award there in front of them? And uh, what was that VIP experience like? Oh man, I was treated, treated amazingly when I went there. And, uh, it was just a warm welcoming, you know, when I got my name called and you know, all the Aggies went crazy. I mean, it was just an awesome feeling. And I mean, just the fact that A&M was playing in that game just made it that much more special. And you know this, I don't need to tell you, but the Mr. Texas Football Award is one of the most prestigious honors in the state. Now, you joined Jaquiz Rogers, Johnny Manziel, Kyler Murray. What does it mean for you to join big names in the state like that? I mean, it means a lot, you know, those are legacies, they left legacies at their school, and I mean, they obviously went on playing the NFL, so to be missing with those names, I mean, it really means a lot, because those are outstanding guys, and to put me in that category, man, I think it's, just, it's a great feeling. And last question, what will you miss most about Bremont High School, and what are you looking forward to most at, at Texas A&M? Uh, I miss just the, the hometown cooking, all the friendliness, you know, everybody's here, friends, warm welcoming, just a great community, but getting at A&M, I'm kind of looking to, you know, more competition, you know, playing on the field and just getting to meet new people and see, you know, what their ways are. If it's just coming from a small town, I'm trying to see what, you know, there's guys from Louisiana on my team, so I'm trying to see, you know, where they come from and, and what's everything like with them. Awesome. Well, on behalf of the Dave Campbell's Texas football staff, congratulations on winning this award and, and continued success. I'm joined with one of the 2016 Bremont Tiger seniors, Josh White. Josh, tell me your favorite memory uh, of Rashad Paul and tell me why you think he's most deserving of the award. Um, definitely my favorite memory of him was the last touchdown he scored two years ago in the first state championship to give us the lead um, that we carried out through the rest of that game. It was just, um, it showed a lot about our team, the resiliency that we had that year, and it spoke a lot of this whole group about how we knew how to stick together and then just play all the way throughout the game. And then whenever he just took the lead for us right there, and there's a minute and a half left in the game, it was just like finally all of our hard work for that whole year and that whole game just showed. And it, then it pretty much showed throughout the rest of our high school career. Now Rashad's going to Texas A&M. What do you think he's going to do over there? You think he's going to do pretty well? Um, I definitely do. Um, 
our coaches have already talked to some of their coaches, the coach who recruited him, and he said he's had a great spring session, and then um, I expect him to roll in and make a pretty good impact in the fall um, season. Awesome. I'm here with 2016 senior Eric Wilganowski. Eric, tell me your favorite memory of Rashad Paul and why you think he's most deserving of the Mr. Texas Football Award. Well, one of my favorite uh, memories about Rashad goes back to this past year when we played Milano. Uh, they kicked him a kick return, and uh, he took it all the way back, and I was just blocking for him, you know. And uh, I was just blocking for him, and then before you know it, there he is running down the sideline scoring a touchdown. And as far as why he's the most deserving of this award goes to the stats, and the stats don't lie, you know. I mean, anybody can stand up here and say they were a good football player, but, I mean, Rashad has the stats to back it up. With J.R. Rocha, uh, J.R., tell me your favorite memory of Rashad Paul and why you think he's most deserving of the Mr. Texas Football Award. My favorite memory of Rashad is probably when he scored that touchdown last year when he made that dude look retarded when he did that <laughs> spin out of it. Yeah. And I just think he's a really good player and love playing with him. Awesome. Good job, man. I'm here with 2016 senior Tanner Reedus. Uh, Tanner, tell me your favorite memory of Rashad and why you think he most deserves the Mr. Texas Football Award. Uh, my favorite memory... I mean, there really can't, there really isn't a favorite memory because there's so many crazy things Rashad's done on the football field to make people look stupid, or he'd just run past somebody or break someone's ankles and just make them look crazy. And he is by far the best athlete in the state of Texas, and he is most deserving of this award. And it's just, it's awesome that he's able to represent Bremond and uh, get this Mr. Texas Football Award, and I'm just proud of him. I'm joined here by Bremont Tigers coach, Coach Wasowski, or Kosowski. Coach, uh, tell me what it was like to coach uh, this year's Mr. Texas football and why you think he's most deserving of the award. Well, first of all, he's a good student and a good kid. And in, in, in four years of having him in high school, he's uh, always been very respectful and just listened, you know, just listened to uh, his coaches. And, uh, you know, to, to be as talented as he is and not have an ego, I think it's just uh, – that's what makes me think that he's so deserving of the award. And Rashad Paul, 47-0, three state titles. Tell me how he's matured over the years and, and why you think he'll be successful at the next level. Well, I think his, his ability speaks for itself. And, you know, he had lots of offers and, and chose to stay right here uh, close to home so that his family can, can see him play. And he, uh, you know, he's got a skill set that, that, that few players have, and he, he, uh, he can play with the best of them. Thanks, Coach. Yes,